Nissan Frontier with a 4.0 liter V6, real common oil leak in the front of, coming from the front of the engine. I'm gonna take this cover down and show you what it is. It's the O-ring on the back of the oil cooler. So to get this cover, you are gonna have some 10 millimeter bolts around, and these might be rusted and break on you if you're in a rust region. And then on this cover, you're gonna be one, two, uh, three up there. Four, just looks like four bolts on the steel cover. So pop that down. With those two covers down, put an oil pan under and remove your oil filter. What this threads into is the oil cooler and behind that there's an O-ring that's notorious to start leaking. So you pop that out and then you're gonna remove this stud, which is a 7 eighths or 22 millimeter. Once you loosen that, you can pull the entire stud out, put that somewhere safe and right behind here, let's see how much room we can get is the o-ring i'm talking about so boom there it is i'm going to pull that o-ring out clean it all up and put a new one in here's the new one next to the old you can see they just get a little flattened out over time these aren't directional but you put it in any old way just make sure you clean all this crud off and any dirt grime get it all off in fact it's really a better idea to spray this down with acetone and with a brush clean this all before even taking the oil filter off to begin with also, after you wipe down the mating surface, if you see any corrosion like that, make sure to use a Brillo pad and clean that up. I also recommend rubbing some uh, grease on this surface. And coat the new O-ring with grease or motor oil. Works fine too, just uh, don't put it in dry. Before putting the covers back on, make sure to start it and check for any drips or leaks. Also, I like to throw grease on the bolts for the steel cover because these love to get seized into the frame with all the road salt we get around here. The O-ring I took out of there was not directional, had rounded on both sides, but the factory one that came out looks like it has a square side and a slightly rounded side. So if the new one that you get looks that way, the square cut side, flat, 90 degree, goes toward the engine. Uh, drop this video a thumbs up if it helped you out and this is not the only place that the frontier is leaked but it certainly is the most common uh, on many different vehicles that have oil coolers it's very common for that o-ring to leak behind there so yeah hopefully i see you in another video and uh, thanks a lot